Namaskar, I'm me, and I welcome all of you to UPSC and you. We're going to continue with our series of analyzing daily newspapers. We're going to analyze both the Hindu and Indian Express in today's session. To be honest, I'm really surprised how people are making such elaborate newspaper analysis videos. After going through today's analysis, you'd find that you could easily cover both Indian Express and the Hindu within 30 minutes in total. Because in today's Indian Express, there is nothing exam worthy at all. I mean, of course, you could read at your own leisure, but as far as the relevance in CSE is concerned, there is nothing at all, absolutely nothing in Indian Express. And we will see it shortly. Before we begin, this is an about me section of sorts for people who are joining me for the first time. This is my name, how long I've been in the cycle, what I've done before coming in the cycle, and this is what my UPSC journey has been like. Before we begin the analysis of uh, today's the Hindu, I, uh, for people who are joining me for the first time, I have made this first video about uh, how to analyze current affairs. I put the link on the top right section. You can go watch the video first before you go through this analysis. Uh, there are only three exam worthy relevant information in today's Hindu, and we'll just come to them really soon. So, advertisement in the first couple of pages. Then we come to page number one, nothing exam worthy. Same situation, page number two, page number three, city. I think we have to come to page number eight, the editorial page to find the first piece of relevant information for examination. And the only relevant piece of information in this discussion of you know, POXO is the fact that this POXO Act is general neutral in nature. Uh, this is a prelims relevant information for me. So I won't uh, categorically make note of it in my prelims uh, related section. Also, this is relevant as far as your GS1 vulnerable sections are concerned. Under vulnerable sections, you know, children are also vulnerable. And under that subhead of the syllabus, I'm going to make note of the fact that POXO Act, which is relevant to uh, you know, children, safety of children, is gender neutral in nature. So this is one of those points I can use uh, in under that section. I think that is it as far as this page is concerned. Then discussion on diabetes. This discussion on Sri Lanka, the inevitable geopolitical lens in Sri Lanka. And it speaks about how, uh, how much debt Sri Lanka owes to China and what is the relevant position of its uh, debt vis-a-vis -vis India. And so this is a relevant piece of information. I'm going to make a note of this under section in under my syllabus head of GS2, international relations, neighborhood relations under the subsection Sri Lanka. I will just write that uh, Sri Lanka owes 20% of its outstanding debt to China. And that is where the China angle comes into play. And uh, Sri Lanka, uh, you know, India is Sri Lanka's third largest. Uh, lender and India extended 4 billion uh, to Sri Lanka to help mitigate its crisis, the role of India in helping uh, the neighborhood countries. So two pieces of information from this article, which are relevant to UPSC civil services examination. Of course, you can always make a point that you like reading newspaper, read it however long you want, watch however long analysis videos as you want, but they will have little to no relevance in your preparation. Be rest assured about it. The final piece of information which is relevant comes on this page number 14. And uh, so they speak about gender parity. So under the subject of gender parity in GS1, you have vulnerable sections. In GS2, they have, uh, you know, a women related uh, schemes. So uh, to ensure gender parity, now army has begun the process of selection of women. Uh, officers for command posting in rank of colonel, which has so far been the domain of male officers. So this is another step which is being taken to ensure gender parity. It can be used in a number of ways. Can be used in essay, can be used in ethics, also can be used in GS1 and GS2. I think that is it. I mean, in the entire span of uh, what, 18 pages, you just have three pieces of information in the Hindu, uh, which are relevant to the preparation. I would reiterate, uh, the first piece of information that was relevant was about uh, uh, how GS1 vulnerable section, POSCO Act, gender neutral nature, 
then Sri Lanka, uh, India a relationship, how 20% of Sri Lanka's outstanding debt is to China and India is its third largest lender. India extended 4 billion line of credit during the uh, Sri Lankan economic crisis. And finally, the fact that to ensure gender parity now women are being considered for the uh, for the rank of Colonel, for the command posting for the rank of Colonel. That is it. And so, so the Hindu, as far as the you know, comparison with Indian Express is concerned, is miles ahead uh, as far as today's news is concerned. Let's go through the entire newspaper, total 20 pages, and you see there is absolutely no relevant information as far as the preparation is concerned. Nothing relevant at all. We have already read about uh, Collegium IT draft. We have read about it in the past. Not relevant again as far as the preparation for the exam is concerned. Then uh, Delhi section, so the same LGCM tussle being spoken about. Then what? Then political news not relevant as far as the preparation is concerned. Speaking about hybrid immunity, nothing relevant as far as examination concerned. Even editorials uh, are good. You can read them. Uh, and, but they are not relevant as far as the preparation of the UPSC CSC is concerned. We spoke about the ASA report in yesterday's uh, discussion, so no point reading it over and over again. No new piece of information here. Again, Collegium, we have been looking at the editorials and news from uh, this section since two days now, since we've begun the uh, you know discussion, but no new piece of information here. International news, nothing exam worthy as far as you know the preparation for prelims or means is concerned. Again, I read this, I really like this, but again, as far as the question on IR is concerned, it won't ask question on the political uh, implications of what is happening um, in there as far as their electoral uh, you know situation is concerned. Not relevant to examination. Economy also nothing new, exam worthy. And then we arrive at the sports section. Right. So in the entire span of 20 pages, no exam relevant information at all. I think that is it from today's section. Uh, we're going to meet soon tomorrow with a similar analysis. If you want to see more of my work, go in the comment section. You will go in the description box rather, and you'd find uh, the work that I've done so far. I have made, uh, if you want to see more of my work, you can go to my, the playlist of the channels. You'll find a CSAT 2021 analysis. You'll find a prelims 2022 analysis. And an analysis of how you could approach essay and internal security. That is it from my side. Thanks a lot for connecting and take care. I'll see you in the next week.